Is it possible that a language can be forgotten? What can lead a whole population of people to abandon their language? There are some ancient languages and texts that have been discovered, but no one has been able to decipher. One of these mysteries is the Ronga Rongo script, which we will take a look at today and see if we can get closer to unraveling this mystery. Rongorongo is a script discovered in Easter Island, Chile, that is believed to be an ancient form of writing. It is one of the few examples of a pre-Columbian written language in the Pacific region. The script is inscribed on various artifacts, such as wooden tablets, staffs, and even ceremonial objects. The script is composed of glyphs or symbols that are believed to be logograms and syllabic symbols. The glyphs are arranged in a spiral pattern which may suggest a link to ancient astronomical calendars. Most of the symbols are still a mystery as no one has been able to decipher the script. The origin of the script is still debated today. Some believe that it may have developed from the Polynesian pictographic writing system, while others suggest that the script has its origin in a much earlier form of writing. The purpose of the script is also unknown, but it is believed to have been used for religious and ceremonial purposes. It is also possible that the script was used to record the island's history or to communicate. The script has been found on a few artifacts, but most of the tablets have been damaged and are no longer legible. The few artifacts that have survived have been preserved in museum collections. Discovered in the late 1800s on Easter Island, this mysterious tablet is inscribed with a unique and complex hieroglyphic script. It is believed to be an ancient form of writing predating the arrival of Europeans to the island in the late 1700s. The discovery of the Rongorongo tablet is credited to a friar named Eugenio Airaud. Eugenio Airaud was a lay friar of a Roman Catholic religious congregation and was on a mission to convert the local settlers. In 1864, he first settled on Easter Island, but only lasted nine months. He returned and permanently settled in 1866 even though he wasn't very popular with the locals. Unfortunately, he died two years later. Could it be that he was somehow cursed? While on Easter Island, Eugenio stumbled upon many wooden tablets in every hut. They seemed to have been carved with sharp stones, but no one was able to read or translate them anymore. It seems everyone was keeping these as a form of respect, but no one knew their meaning anymore. Later on in 1868, a bishop received a gift from Easter Island. Among the various items, there was a tablet covered in hieroglyphic writing. The bishop was excited about this discovery and ordered the retrieval of all the tablets from the island. Even though Eugenio had seen hundreds of these tablets, the expedition that the bishop ordered could only retrieve a few. What happened to the others? Did the locals hide them so that it would be impossible to decipher the texts? In 2014, a newly discovered tablet was found that contained a fragment of the script, but it is still unclear what it says. Rongorongo is an intriguing script and one of the few written languages of the Pacific region. It is still a mystery and efforts are ongoing to decipher its meaning. In the meantime, the script remains an important reminder of the ancient culture of Easter Island and its unique and mysterious writing system. What do we know about Easter Island? Let's take a closer look at this place. Easter Island, Chile, is one of the most mysterious places in the world. Located in the southeastern Pacific Ocean, it is one of the most isolated islands on Earth. It is known for its giant stone statues, called Moai, that were carved by the native Rapa Nui people. The mystery surrounding Easter Island began centuries ago, when the first Europeans arrived in 1722. They found the island uninhabited, but covered with hundreds of massive stone statues. The statues were carved from volcanic rock and range in height from 3 to 30 feet. They are thought to be representations of important ancestors of the Rapa Nui people. The Rapa Nui people are believed to have first arrived on Easter Island around 1200 AD. They lived in relative isolation for centuries before the Europeans arrived. During this time, they built the Moai and developed their own unique culture and language. The Rafa Nui people 
are an indigenous Polynesian people inhabiting Easter Island in the southeastern Pacific Ocean. The island, also known as Rafa Nui, is located around 2,300 miles west of the Chilean coast. The Rafa Nui are believed to have inhabited the island for at least 600 years, making them one of the oldest known Polynesian cultures. Rafa Nui culture is known for its rich oral traditions, which are passed down through the generations by storytellers. The Rafa Nui language is distinct from other Polynesian languages and is still spoken by many of the island's inhabitants. The Rafa Nui are also famous for the Moai, large stone sculptures found all over the island. These monumental figures were carved from volcanic rocks and were likely used as a representation of ancestor worship. The island also contains several other archaeological sites, including petroglyphs and the remains of ancient villages. The Rafa Nui have a strong sense of identity and pride in their culture, which has been maintained through the centuries despite foreign influences. Over the past few decades, the Rafa Nui have worked to preserve their culture and language, as well as their unique customs and traditions. Today, the Rafa Nui people live primarily on the island, although many have also moved to the mainland of Chile and other countries. While the island remains largely undeveloped, tourism is increasing, bringing both economic and environmental concerns to the island. Despite the changes and challenges of the modern world, the Rafa Nui people have managed to preserve their unique culture and way of life, making them a living example of the power of resilience and adaptation. Could the Rongorongo text be a long-lost version of the language spoken by the Rafa Nui people? If it is, how could they have lost the meaning of this text? Or if it's not, what culture has been lost along with the meaning of these texts? Despite the lack of knowledge about the text, many theories have been proposed as to what the Rongorongo text may mean. One theory is that Rongorongo is a form of religious writing used by the ancient people of Easter Island to document their spiritual beliefs. This theory has gained traction in recent years, as some researchers have claimed to have found evidence of religious symbolism and imagery in the text. The exact nature of the religious beliefs that the text documents is still unclear, however. Another popular theory is that Rongorongo is a form of language used to record conversations or stories. Proponents of this theory point to the repetition of certain symbols and phrases throughout the text, suggesting that the symbols and words may have had a specific meaning. However, no one has been able to decipher the text, so this theory remains largely unproven. The most widely accepted theory is that Rongorongo is a form of mnemonic writing used to record and remember important information. This theory suggests that the symbols and words of the text were used to represent ideas, concepts, and memories. This would explain why the text is so difficult to decipher, as it was never intended to be a form of communication. No matter what the true purpose of Rongorongo is, it is clear that the text holds a great deal of mystery and intrigue. Researchers and historians continue to study the text in hopes of uncovering its true meaning, but for now, the text is not revealing its secrets. Join us next time as we look into other mysteries and intrigues our world is keeping from us. Don't forget to subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you think this text could be.